holy shit. I, I love the work that I'm doing. So a practice that I have heard a lot about, and it's something that's practiced by a lot of my role models like Lewis Howes, Tony Robbins, is the practice of visualizing and mapping out your perfect day. And I, I've not really spent the time doing this exercise, but I can absolutely see the benefit of it because you kind of take an abstract thing, you take your abstract goals, your abstract dreams, and you, and you try to make them as tangible and as real as possible. And it's a very motivating practice that, um, that a lot of people have sworn by. So I was out to dinner last night with a friend, and I asked her to map out her perfect day because I wanted, I wanted another person's perspective, and just to, I just wanted to kind of get those insights. Um, and, you know, it's something that requires a lot of introspection, and I kind of put her on the spot, but again, I just kind of wanted to get another person's perspective. So she kind of mapped out her, her perfect day loosely, and then she asked me for, for what my perfect day was. And, you know, I started by saying, um, I wake up in a beautiful Oceanside Villa next to the woman of my dreams, who is beautiful, stunning. I'm lucky to be with her. Um, and then I pop out to the ocean for a morning swim, morning dive, and then pop into my pimped out home gym. Uh, for a workout and then I head back to the kitchen where my personal chef is preparing a delicious nutritious uh, beautiful tropical meal and uh, Followed by that I I check some emails. I, I maybe do an interview or two. I spend a few hours working uh, And then at the end of the day, you know, we do a happy hour We do dinner with friends and, and all that good stuff and she kind of stopped me after I mentioned the work part She goes wow you really you really love your work and I said, no, I don't love my work. Who loves, who loves working? Like, get real. But then I, I stopped myself and I said, holy shit. I, I love the work that I'm doing. You know, it's 8 o'clock right now in Medellin and I'm still working. I'm still engaged with my work. I'm still passionate about my work because I, I truly believe that the work that I'm doing is going to impact many, many people positively. And I believe that the work that I'm doing is serving a higher purpose and that feeling of grinding but being so motivated by it because again you're serving this higher purpose it is incredible and my mission now is to reach as many 20 somethings as possible and try to help you feel that exact same way because i i was where maybe you are right now again feeling stuck feeling lost feeling frustrated feeling overwhelmed but I moved down to Medellin with the sole goal of trying to figure out my mission, my vision. And I, in that moment, I was like, holy shit, I am doing work that I love. And, then, and now it feels so good to say that out loud. Like, if I can do it, you can do it. And the good news is you don't have to quit your job and move to a South American country and not speak a lick of Spanish. Um, I'll, I've already taken care of that for you, but if you do want to come down and join me, I'd be more than happy to have you because I'm always looking for friends. Um, but anyways, stay tuned, stick around, subscribe. It's only going to get better from here.